Hey guys, Kenny here with Stain Man. Wanted to do a video for you guys to kind of show you the difference between uh, film forming oil based stains and a penetrating, a true oil penetrating stain. What I have here is I have eight different stains, and we're actually going to make this a challenge. Um, we're going to, at the end of the video, we're going to see, I'll list the uh, stains that I used, and then we'll see if you can guess which one corresponds which which one of these stains but what I'll do is I'll first going to tell you a little bit about them um, and what they're doing and the tests that I, I, I did on them so um, eight stains that I used and the test that I did was one is I dipped the a spoon into the stain and then I flipped it over like that and let the stain run off and um, if the stain runs off these are going to be the stains that are going to be a penetrating a true penetrating stain the ones that leave a film like that are going to be film forming stains now these are all oil based stains they're all semi transparent um, somewhat similar colors but not exactly they're kind of in the same ballpark anyway but uh, that was the first test the second test I did was I put a drop of stain and I let it run down and I was looking for the shadowing if you could see here you can see a shadowing and then uh, a good penetration that's what we're looking for in a good oil based stain here's some more shadowing uh, with this stain you'll notice there's no shadowing on the sides and there's really no penetration this one has a little bit of penetration uh, you got some shadowing on this one none on that one and just a little bit of penetration on that one <clears throat> so if we look at these we'll look at the spoon and the what I'm gonna call the drip test or the shadow test I should call it the shadow test because I got a drip test later on um, so number one has got good shadowing and the stain has rolled off the spoon number two not a whole lot of shadowing but it does have some penetration in the cracks um, and it rolled off the spoon number three has good shadowing it rolled off the off the spoon there is a little bit left on the side there number four no shadowing no penetration and it just stayed on top of the spoon number five you got some penetration but you also have some film forming there on the spoon Number six, you got some shadowing, penetration, and it rolled off the spoon. Number seven, no penetration, film on the spoon. And number eight, you got a little bit of penetration on the side there and some, some left on top of the spoon. If we go down and we look at starting back with one, this test what I did was I put two coats of stain on this board and then let it cure and then we came back and sanded it to see how deep it penetrated so number one had a really good penetration the stain is still dark it's not back to that light color that you see there the natural color these are all pressure treated lumber so this is stain on pressure treated lumber pressure treated lumber is about six years old it's been washed it's been brightened and it's been sanded so there's number one number two a little bit of pigment left in there number three has some pigments left in there it actually um, shows the grain real well uh, number four basically nothing left on there after the sand test number five has a little bit number six has a little bit seven uh, really we're back to the original number eight uh, kind of in between so on this test, I would say uh, number one did the best. Number three did second best. Probably go over to six, five, and then two. This test here, what I did, same thing, two coats of stain on here. After it had dried a little bit, I came through, and in the upper right-hand corner, I dropped some stain. You'll notice it there. So I put a drop of stain on there and then I let it sit overnight and basically trying to recreate um, 
an example like if you got done staining a deck and it dripped and the neighbor or the homeowner called in the next morning and said hey we got some drips on the deck can you come take care of it which ones would be the easiest to take care of so i put the drip on there let them sit overnight and this morning i came through and i wiped those off um, i used a rag with some mineral spirits on it <clears throat> number one we can't see anything number two we can't see anything number three we have some pigments left in there you can see it but you really can't feel it 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 blends in uh, we probably could have wiped on another coat of stain and been fine on that number four did a real bad job um, this is an example of what I would call a film forming stain um, get the screwdriver here and you can just see that stuff just and it didn't wipe off with the uh, with the mineral spirits number five you really can't feel it but you can definitely tell it so it, it again is one that I would consider a film forming stain number six on number six when I applied it it actually just penetrated right in when that drop went on it was less than two minutes before it looked just like this so it did a real good job of, of hiding those drips number seven um, again it's similar to number four it has a layer of, of pigments that comes up again that didn't wipe off with the mineral spirits and then number eight um, it wiped off it was wet this morning and when I wiped it off it just it came clear as well so so there are some examples number four is an example of a film former number five is a film former number seven is a film former and the rest of them do a pretty good job of penetrating so I'm gonna do a flyby over these there's number one number two three four five this is six here's seven and here's eight and so let's have a little challenge in the comments below Tell me which brand do you think number one is, which brand do you think number two is, three is, so on and so forth. Um, I'm going to give you the brands that I used. There was eight of them. <clears throat> so I used Olympic. I used Cabot's. I used Baker's. I used Bear. TWP. Super Deck. Flood and stain and seal experts so tell me which brand you think corresponds with these stains and which brand you prefer based on the results here if you like this video hit subscribe like it share it i will be back next week with the results of what brand each one of these are and actually when i peel these stickers off it's going to have the brand listed underneath. So we'll come back with a video next week with the results, see who got the closest, and we'll go from there. Thanks, guys, and good luck on your next project.